Ready? We're gonna do this? Sony gonna... Handycam problem. We're gonna do this? Alright, check it out. Project E39 has been literally leaking all sorts of power steering fluid on my garage floor. You see that? That's all gross and nasty. That's just unacceptable. It looks it looks awful. And if you look here down here on the floor, that's a pretty massive puddle that's been somewhat seeping over the last couple of months. So fixing that today. With new hoses. New hoses and new power steering fluid holder, aka reservoir. What are we doing, Steve? Changing the game. See that? That is gross. That's not a good sign of things to come. Therefore, yeah, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to address that. We're gonna have to handle that. It smells pretty, uh... Dank. Yeah, dank. It smells dank. It's got some dank problems. So, yeah. Alright, though. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. First thing we're gonna do is uh, drain the reservoir with a baster and the official Arizona Diet Green Tea power steering fluid bottle. It smells awful. Just gonna try to get as much out as we can right now. Probably shouldn't look that color either. The contents from the reservoir into that along with what's ever left inside those power steering lines. So, you know, I felt this was the best way. One ten mil, one ten mil. There's another ten mil on this side. Should come right off, no problem. Right, Steve? We'll give it a try. Let's get up in there. <laughs> Reusable power steering reservoirs. No such thing. You gotta cut these uh, hose clamps off. They are not reusable. How's that going for you, Steve? Uh, pretty shitty. Huh. It's alright. It doesn't know me. You're right, it's about to meet you though. Yep. You should be able to slide it off. No, you go. gotta you gotta wrap it around. Alright. Let's All get right. our custom little bag of shit. <laughs> How's that sliding off for you there? Like a boss. Just let it drain. Want to cut it off? Oh, there we go. So, fun fact about ETF, it is... Someone just kicked the door. I wonder if that was Joe. Probably Ken. Uh, he needs to go F himself. Alright, where can I toss this bullshit? Um, uh, leave it on the ground for now. There we go, there's the bolt. They do make a nice service tray right here, though. Very progressive. What size was that uh, bolt again? It was, you bolt? It was 13. You, 13 have to use the thir you have to use the 13 short socket. Roger. All right, now this is ready to come out. I don't know if you want to put the, uh, if you want me to dump this into the ATF bin below, or if you want to try and swoop it up and. I say swoop it up. All right. Pull it, try to swoop it. Is the rose on that much in there? Well, I mean, it already some some of it had already dropped below. All right, I gotta reuse that clip. That clip? Yeah, this one. In. Not a big deal. I oh, know. I don't think it was even on to begin with. No. no. So what are you doing now down there, Steve? I'm just cutting off that bullshit hose clamp. So we got uh, three hose clamps in total that we need to uh, need to handle. Yep. Alright. So that hose clamp is off. And it looks like it's loose enough that you can just pull pop, it. Pop off the hose. Pop it! There it is. Just try to push it downward because I'm right underneath it. Yeah, well, I can. 
I can just pull it up now. Yeah? Yeah. Do it. <sighs> Alright, do it again. Alright, so when you slide uh, the hose down, um, what Steve suggested is uh, dip your finger, make sure it's clean, into some of the uh, new ATF fluid and uh, coat the inside of the new hose uh, with some of that fluid to make it a little easier to slip on. Obviously you want to put the new uh, hose clamp on as well. Uh, we're using a different style hose clamp than stock uh, only because uh, the crimp-ons, you can't reuse them so we're just using more of a traditional hose clamp. It'll work just fine. Much all the hard work is done from here on out, mostly. Mostly. For the most part, you know what I'm saying? Know what I mean? Yeah, bro. All right, bro. All right. Uh, also, we're going to use some brake cleaner and uh, clean some of the mess up down here, too. But I'll kind of show you that later on. It's not really necessary for the time being. All right. So this is the new fluid reservoir. It doesn't hold much. Uh, and this is probably one of the things that probably fails first on any power steering system on these BMWs. And this goes for E46s, too, as well as the E39. Um, what this has is, you know, obviously this goes to the hoses, one's return, and uh, one sends out. Uh, but you have the filter, which is part of the reservoir. So anytime you do a flush, you need to, do, you need to replace this part. Um, but one thing that's common is the breather for the system is actually integrated in this cap. And if you look right here, that hole is part of the breathing system. So when this starts to leak, it's going to leak through the top and it's going to leak through the seal here, which is why when you look at the original one here, you can see all the buildup on there. That's basically from the power steering fluid leaking. So one thing I couldn't show you underneath, and once again, this is a suggestion from Steve Walker, the man, the myth, the legend. I'm going to get to know him because he's going to be doing some sick builds soon. Um, what you should do just to kind of help get the new hoses onto the reservoir is uh, dip your finger in some fresh ATF. Make sure that your hands are kind of clean. Kind of put your fingers inside the hose. It's basically lubrication. It slides a lot better. You know what I'm saying? And you put the new reservoir into place. So these are the hose clamps that we're using now. Like these are adjustable, like I said. So over time when the hoses start to shrink or if they enlarge in whatever the case is, you can kind of readjust them as you need. And I think from the factory they should use this style, but they don't, and that's fine. Crimp style hose clamps are, are weak. We picked these up from AutoZone. For cheaps. <laughs> That's an automatic win, anything from AutoZone. Hose clamps are hose clamps are hose clamps. Uh, reservoir kind of sits in. And as you can see, it's covered with years and years of disease. So basically, the one thing that we've learned since 2012 is don't take your car to the dealership. Don't take it to your friend's house. Bring it to my house. I'll do it. Not for free, but I'll do it. So, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not use power steering fluid in BMW hydraulic power steering systems. It won't end well. You're gonna be using ATF. They say DEX3, but we'll be using DEX Merc which pretty much the same stuff. You want to spend your money like I almost did and buy, buy deck six, have fun. Won't get you anywhere. So the type of flush I'm going to be doing is to sort of put as much new fluid in the system as possible is I'm going to fill this reservoir, I'm going to start the car, okay? And I'm going to take the baster, take some fluid out, put some more in, just sort of cycle it on through. Here we go, guys. Shh. 
Check for leaks. Nothing that wasn't already there.